Look, he's got a feeling fat. Strides, her stride length was a lot more consistent and the pace of her gait was a lot quicker, a lot quicker pace. Yeah. Her muscle tone was high, and the amount of life that she had and her, she, her fingers, they were con it's stretchable contracture, but now it's easier for me to straighten it out. It was more kind of fisted, yeah. but it's not as um, oh fisted goodness. now. Can you move it up? Can you show me if you can raise it up? She's going up higher. She's going up higher on that. It was amazing. Uh, she was more stimulated when she came off of the quadricizer. Uh, her feet were not red nor blue. They were perfectly as white and, and uh, the circulation was just like ours would be. So I am very happy. Well, after severe disabling conditions that cause paralysis, uh, people are not moving. Their muscles can get atrophic and they suffer many uh, serious side effects of the deconditioning such as uh, loss of calcium from their bones, uh, problems with circulation, and depression. And when a limb is shortened, not only does it just shorten, but the blood vessels are shortened, the muscle will shorten, the nerves will shorten, and the joint will shorten. So it's much harder later to bring it out again. And sometimes it's even possible, even with surgery. Look at how after easy one time, it is. On after one time, look at this. His hand was like this. You couldn't even. Oh, you couldn't do even this. like bend it if you no. thought you wanted to break the fingers. I could never do this with his fingers. No. Nope. There's no way, no way in heck. Look at that. And even his wrist. I mean, his wrist was. Look at that. I mean, at least it's something to work with now. Yes. Yeah. So relaxed. Look at this arm too. This arm is never lays like this. Never. There's no way this arm ever lays like this. Really? Yeah. No. It's always up. He's looking up there. It's always up like this. It's always like okay. That. He's usually totally flexed in a, a, a totally closed fist position. It's a lot easier now to open it, like passively yeah, open it. Open. Can you open your hands? Good. Look at that. Oh my God. Right. Well, I would I would continue with the quadricizer to get that going, but now passively I probably can open up his hand more. The experience that I've had with the quadricizer uh, has yielded a lot of positive results in my in my interaction with it and with patients. I found over the past 10 years that there really did not exist particular and specific pieces of equipment that would work uh, the various ranges of motion, the functional movements that the quadricizer does, particularly with the specific patient population that we uh, tend to incorporate. Whether you've had spinal cord injuries, uh, neurologic damage, whether it be from a stroke or some other debilitating illness. The quadricizer fills a, a needed and, and valuable gap in the system as far as therapy with relation to what it's able to do. The quadricizer is an excellent tool to assist the physical therapist. And I say it's a tool because it's very important to recognize that it is a tool in the hands of a skilled physical therapist can be a, a perfect adjunct in the treatment plan. And I believe what the quadricizer does is really engage the brain. It's engaging the brain in the reciprocal uh, relationships that are in the body mm -hmm. and so it's really really working on the ability for the the uh, the brain to engage and to get that re-education going in the in the patient that's been mm -hmm. affected with Parkinson's that's beautiful on Parkinson's disease uh, I've heard patients say uh, there's one guy that I've got on there now says I feel like I'm walking I'm walking and he goes it's mm -hmm. beautiful because I don't have to think so it's really mm -hmm. great I can do an extension physically for someone who's contracted, but it's very labor intensive and it takes an enormous amount of time. This machine allows to be able to adjust and work on the machine to work on extension. Personally, I think it's great for us that work here because it's taken a lot of load off of uh, physically having to do all the patterning ourselves, so it's great 